So how about you guys start with drawing and you guys start with mylar and stapling? This is one of our food computers. So basically it's a tabletop greenhouse that's climate controlled with computer programming and robotics. So what we have in here growing is lettuce. So this is the one that we built last semester. Um, and the lettuce is growing in hydroponics, which means we don't use soil, there's only water uh, and a little bit of nutrients added in to help the plants grow. And then it's climate controlled with computer uh, programming. So we use in this one a thing called an Arduino, which is basically a microprocessor, a uh, mini computer kind of. And so in the class we teach our students how to um, do basic coding and then how to code for what kind of temperature and climate we want inside of the food computer. So for example, we have lights connected to the Arduino, we have uh, a fan connected, a temperature and humidity sensor, and then we connect this LCD screen to kind of keep track of what we're doing. So basically we code what we want, we say we want a certain life cycle, we want a certain temperature, and then plug everything in and have it run and grow the plants. So we can kind of learn about the whole life cycle and how technology plays into that, how technology plays into things that aren't necessarily related to technology. So uh, when you think of a cell phone, you think of technology, but when you think of food, you don't necessarily think of technology. So this is kind of a way to, to help us understand the full spectrum of what we can do and why that's helpful in some situations and why it might not be helpful in others. In the class, the students are building the food computers from the ground up. So they're learning the computer coding of how to control the light system, how to control the temperature, how to control the nutrients added into our plants. Um, and they're learning how to physically build the food computer. So learning things in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, um, as well as urban agriculture and plant sciences. No, it says... And right now we're learning codes, different, the different types of codes and everything, like what they mean and how they work. Uh, so here, so enter, so click on that and enter. And then you're gonna add in the operating system line. My favorite part was today with the camera, because a little mini camera just popping up on a big stream. It's pretty cool. I created the food computer class because as I was running a technology startup and in my master's program at the same time, I kind of realized how important it was to tie in real world experience with academics. And this food computer technology, I think, is the perfect way to do that because we, always, we all interact with food. So we eat food, we buy it, um, but we don't necessarily know how it gets to us or what to do afterwards, like how to cook it if there's new vegetables or something. Uh, okay, we need a hole like here, we need a hole here, we need a hole here. So I think by incorporating technology with, an, with something that everyone is familiar with, it's a great way to help kids understand how to incorporate these new technologies and um, learn about their communities. Uh, hold on, lift it up a little bit.